Use the world time zone map to find the standard time in the following cities when it's 12 noon in Greenwich. Okay, so I'm going to sneak it in up here. Question one, part A. Perth. Perth, and this is the way I'd suggest that you write it. Perth is, I can actually go back, maybe I can show you both at the same time. Let's see if we can manage. There we go. Okay, have a look. Where's Perth? What time zone is it? It's in plus A, right? So Perth time is UTC plus A. That's the way that you would write it. Okay? So if it's noon in Greenwich, noon in Greenwich, then I have to add eight hours to that. So it's 8 p.m. in Perth. Okay? Does that make sense? Um, I would suggest that you write both of these things. Firstly, identify the time zone that it's in, and then secondly, apply that to whatever time it currently happens to be. So for instance, if it wasn't Newton Greenwich, if I said, okay, what if it was something like, say, 7.30 p.m. in Greenwich? How are you going to work this out? What will you do? You're still going to add the eight hours, but where is it going to land you? You've got to be a little bit careful on this. So it's going to, yeah, as you add hours, uh, it's only, what is it? It's only four and a half hours to midnight, right? Once you get to midnight, then you're in the next day, aren't you? So therefore, if it's 7.30 p.m. in Greenwich, it's going to be 3.30 a.m. Now, please note this. It's 3.30 a.m. in Perth, but it's the next day, right? Because not only has the time changed, you've gone past midnight, so it's a whole new day. Does that make sense? Is that what you do with the next day? I totally would. I totally would, because if you're talking about the time, then I think the date is equally as important, okay? Um, so, you can see, let's look for San Francisco. I, if only we had someone who's been to the US recently. Is there anyone who's been to the US recently? So, Holly, help us out. Can you point us to San Francisco? It's okay, so it's on the red dot. It's like one of the red dots. One of these, isn't it? It's, one, it's not the, it's like the down, down, stop, up, one of these? that one. Okay, all right. It's like around there. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure if that's LA or San Francisco. Uh, I might have a picture. There you go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it is that, it's that exact one. Okay, so you can look up your own time zone map for this. So have a look. Here we are. This is the standard time zone we're interested in, right? And if you follow it down, you can see it's going to be... Minus seven. Now, careful. So these colours here... These colors are meant to match up. So I, I think we should actually have a look. I think in your textbook they provide one as well. It's minus eight in the textbook. It's minus eight? Yeah, there you go. So I'm not sure if maybe the colors are just mismatched or something like that. I mean, it clearly looks it clearly looks like it's in that zone. Yeah. So, and if the textbook is saying, we'll go with that definition just so we're all consistent. So minus eight, minus eight. I'm sort of writing out of space. So what are we going to say? We're going to say San Fran is. Identify the time zone for me. Okay, be a little more specific. It's UTC minus A. Okay. So therefore, again, I want to state it. Please don't try to this part. State the time in whatever location you're comparing to, which typically will be Greenwich. And then we have to rewind, right? So you subtract 8, which gives you? 4 a.m. You're going back 8 hours from noon. Yeah? So you might find this helpful. Actually, you talk. Just put your pens down for a second. I should have mentioned this before, but, but hearing some answers here, it's helpful to mention it now. If you're getting a little bit confused about plus and minus and where you are, particularly if they give you a different time, I suggest you draw yourself one of these, okay? Doesn't have to be beautiful, but just chuck in whatever reference time you've been provided. So we've been provided that in Greenwich. And then use a number line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to make sure you're actually counting time correctly. 
because 8 a.m. is a common answer uh, that's incorrect for this because we just look at the 8 and we think we're comparing to noon, right? And we say, oh, it's in the morning, and then we just sort of, on autopilot, we think it's 8 a.m. Okay? You can see if you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 hours back, then there's 11 a.m. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 a.m., right? And you can see, you can replay it the other direction. If you went four to eight hours, you clearly end up at 12. So that's 4 a.m. in San Francisco. No, so, shh, you're 12, you're 12. I don't want to lose you here because this is the confusing part of this. You're 12, still, still waiting for everyone to... Listen to this clearly because it is confusing. This is where a number line, a timeline will help you. Okay? If you've got 12 noon in the middle, then this is the morning. Now, 12 noon, the way we write it, is it's 12 p.m. But I tend to not write 12 p.m. I tend to write 12 noon because I don't confuse that as easily. As opposed to 12 midnight, when is 12 midnight? 12 a.m., right? So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Here's 12 midnight. So, in 24 hour time, you'd say 0, 100 hours, which is a bit weird. But in normal 12 hour time, you'd say 12 a.m., okay? So, if you're coming from 12 noon and you're going back, you're going into the morning. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, so draw that and it will help you out. Okay. 